to tell you I am not tired of hearing complaints every day. Hardware money, my PC is not working, my PC is not working. It's for me to say the least. This is a complaint I keep hearing all the time. And I'm just wondering to myself, why is it that people just don't learn? The problem is, you do not just learn. You are stubborn. You just don't want to learn. Simple thing people tell you, you have to be told over and over and over and again before you actually tell yourself, ah, I think hardware money is making a point. See, every day I come here on this platform to tell you about the fact that, look, there are certain pieces that you just shouldn't buy if you are looking for a responsible PC. But the problem is, you do not listen. You go ahead, you click on those catchy videos because... Truth be said, YouTube is a thing. There's a lot of money to be made on YouTube. And because of that, people go about just making all sorts of videos. Videos intended to catch your attention just to show you a PC for the month. You still find people going all out to buy PCs that will not do the job they're supposed to do. Yes, it's a fact. These PCs are new. But it doesn't really mean that every new PC out there is strong enough to handle the task that you throw at it. This is the problem. You see, I kept wondering, why is it that instead of the many videos you have on YouTube, people still just go about making this, you know, mistake that I consider a very, very basic, you know, mistake to make. But then I realized something that kind of shocked me. And I felt like, look, if I do not come here to tell it to you, I will be doing you a great disservice because I do not want you to fail. I do not want you to spend your hard-earned money, you know, buying things that you come to regret in a matter of days. Truth be said, life is very, very hard right now. Money is hard to come by. And if you work 12 hours a day just to make a few hundred euros or a few hundred dollars, depending on where you live, and then take this money and buy a PC that will make you angry, you are definitely going to be super, super angry. And if I can do just a little thing to save you, to make sure that you do not make this kind of mistake, I am definitely you know, going to do it over and over and over again. I'm not going to be tired, even though I don't have a lot of time to do this. But I said this time around, I'm not going to keep quiet because I took a look at a lot of the videos on YouTube and I was wondering to myself, why is it that these people do not just get it right? The problem is even the AI cannot actually tell you the best PC, you know, to buy for the month of February 2025. They're not going to be able to tell you. It doesn't matter how good a query you put on the AI system. The AI system is going to glitch because the AI system do not have the data that we have. And people making this video that you see on YouTube, unfortunately, they do not also have the data. Yes, they do have data, basic data that says, look, if the PC is new, then it can deliver what you want to do with it. No, that's wrong because at the end of the day, you buy a new PC, you are definitely going to be running into some bottleneck at some point. A lot of these new PCs, they do not actually allow you to upgrade them. There's a reason for that because the companies don't want to make PCs for once and then people just keep upgrading the PCs until God knows. So nobody wants to do business like that. Every company wants to maximize their profit. And this is the reason why they make a PC, yes, decent processor, but then they make it practically impossible for you to first open that PC. And if you finally force it open and get into the PC, you are going to be limited with the number of upgrades that you can do. And because of this, people run into problems after spending a few hundred euros buying a PC they thought was going to be a decent PC. You suddenly realize that, look, if you are a responsible person and if you are somebody that is serious about life and you do a lot of stuff on the internet, you are definitely going to come to this point where you have to tell your PC, I think I need a new RAM for this PC or I think I need a new processor or I think I really do need to actually go ahead and put in a new SSD on this PC. And what happens if the PC that you have gotten doesn't have this character? And not every PC has the character of being upgradable, you know, that makes it possible for you to just go ahead and swap out the RAM sticks and then put in a new RAM that will enable you to do your work. It doesn't happen like that. And this is the reason why I felt like, look, I'm going to come here and tell you because I realized that, look, Talking about the data, people do not really have the data of the PC of the month. Doesn't matter how they try, they go onto ChatGPT, they go onto Google. Google is not going to tell you this. You have to have insider information to be able to actually tell the PC that people are actually, you know, going for. And you know the saying that says, the voice of men sometimes is the voice of God. And I'm privileged to have the data because if you go to the big marketplaces today, believe it or not, on hardware money 
I've got the data to tell me the pieces that people are buying. If you go on to another big marketplace today, which is eBay, I have the data of what people are going for. And if you go on to Amazon, fortunately for me, I also have the data, you know, telling me that, look, people are actually buying this PC and people are buying a particular kind of PC. You want to look deeper and ask yourself, what is it about this PC? And that was exactly what actually made me start to dig deeper and it didn't take me so long to realize the fact that this pc has everything to cataract all the bottleneck you're having right now this is the reason why everybody is kind of going for this pc and after finding out these reasons which i'm going to be showing you shortly i just told myself you know what I'm going to come here and just tell you guys for free having nothing to lose that this pc right here a fujitsu sp p757 is absolutely hands down the pc for the month of february 2025 forget about everything you see out there on the internet like i said they do not have the data and if you do not have the data you can pretty much just make guesses you think these guesses might be right because you see the video that was made by the content creator has a lot of views and for some reason you imagine that this content creator might be telling you something that seems to be true but the fact is if you do not have the data you will not be able to tell for sure if the pc being proposed to you is actually the pc that you should go ahead and buy. Take a look at this PC right here. Very decent PC. I do not know what to say more because obviously you have seen it. The PC has been cleaning and out. Even though it's used, but the PC still looks like it's a very, very new PC. Look at the panel. This is the side panel. Still looking very much in shape. Clean in and out. Nothing to show you that look, this PC has passed through fire. But then is, this PC has passed through fire has been used by world-class companies. Companies that said, you know what? At the end of the day, we really do think that this is a good PC. We are not going to take this PC and just throw it away. We are going to pass it to the secondary market where people are still going to find a lot of value using this PC. And luckily for me, hardware money has a way of getting these PCs from these big companies, which I have gotten to you. And I said, look, even though this PC right now is limited in quantity, if you go to the hardware money shop, you will be able to lay your hands on one of these a decent pc in and out usb-c port yes display port yes usb 3.0 yes upgradability yes dvd writer yes and everything is just yes all the way you have the possibility to actually use two hdd drives and an nvme ssd this doesn't happen with a lot of pcs you have out there yes i understand that hdd is not the norm or there are still certain instances where a HDD is just going to come to your rescue. See, that is not enough. This PC has got a lot of space. If you want to go ahead and train a graphic card right here, you are not going to be disappointed because you've got a lot of space to do quite a lot, putting a responsible graphic card that will enable you to see to it that when you are not working, because truth be said, one cannot be productive for 24 hours nonstop. There's going to be that one time where you have to tell yourself, look, I think I have worked hard enough. I want to take a break. This piece is going to do that for you because if your graphic card comes here, you can actually go ahead and play a lot of games. All right? On this PC, you have a solid processor. Like I said about bottlenecks, if the first bottleneck you are considering is hardware money, how do I upgrade this PC? On this PC, we've already got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, but then I still feel that is not enough. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this responsible you know ddr4 ram understand that i'm using the word responsible because i have been in this game long enough to tell you for free that not all ram sticks you have out there can be actually used for decent upgrades but this right here made by crucia is something i have used forever and i do feel like it has earned the reputation of being called a responsible ram this video is not sponsored by crucia but if crucia is to come around and say hardware money we take one of sponsor your video to talk more about this ram I really do think I've got what it takes because I have used literally thousands of these RAMs with absolutely no problem. Just going to go ahead and pop this on. So to do that, just going to make sure that I'm kind of gentle with it. I'm going to pull that in just like that. And I'm going to take the other one and also gently slot it in. You see, doing this, you actually has just increased the power of this PC. You have made this PC to be able to run even faster than it was originally. That's not to mean that it wasn't fast enough, but like I said, if you want to roll with the big boys, sometimes you have to be seen doing what the big boys are doing. The big boys, like I said, given that I have the data of what the big boys are doing, I pretty much realized that the big boys tend to use PCs from the 2GB 
and above. And this is the reason why I have easily brought this PC to the 2 gigabyte. But then that's not enough. If you want to make this PC a superhero PC, I'm just going to go here and grab an NVMe SSD like you can see and go ahead and put it on this PC. In that way, this PC, you know, is going to go ahead and do exactly what this PC was meant for originally, which is to make you very, very productive. I'm not going to waste your time to try to install this, but I'm just going to tell you, Lou, if you are still confused, you are not so sure what to do right now, please, please, and please go to the Hard Money Shop. Click on the link in the description below. You are going to be taken to this magnificent offer. Go ahead, click on it, and you will be glad you did until I see you again in the next video. Peace.